Okay, we've got a power plate capacitor here, and then we've increased the area. If you increase the area, that means there's more area for the charge to be stored for the same voltage. So it turns out capacitance is actually proportional to area. So if you double the area, you double the capacitance. Then what we've done is we've decreased the distance. If you decrease the distance, then the, what happens is the electrons on one side, this side here, can push the electrons off this side. And also the positive charge on this side can attract more electrons onto the, um, the negative side. So it turns out capacitance is inversely proportional to distance. And then what we've done is we've inserted a dielectric. So you can see when you insert a dielectric, it increases the charge stored on the capacitor. This equation tells us how the, all those factors affect the capacitance. A is the area of the plate. D is the distance between the plates. E0 is the permittivity of free space, which you've come across before. ER is the relative permittivity, or sometimes called the dielectric constant. Now, ER doesn't depend it uh, doesn't have any units uh, and here are examples of the dielectric constant so for example a vacuum in air is basically one and then you can see ethanol is a very good dielectric it means that it will increase the charge stored in the plates um, another way of figuring out the relative permittivity is q over q naught q naught is how much charge is stored without the dielectric and q is with the dielectric you can see with with the dielectric you got more charge another equation is c over C0, where C is a capacitance with the dielectric and C0 without the dielectric. A capacitor is shown in diagram made from two plates of radius 0 0.05 uh, meters separated by a distance of 1.2 times into minus 4 meters. The gap between the plates is air. Calculate the capacitance. So we're going to use the equation C equals epsilon naught ER A over D. Now, because it's air, we can ignore ER, it's just going to be one, so we can ignore that. And so we can, and then area, it's a circular plate, so you can use pi r squared, where the radius is 0 0.05, so that actually gives an area of 7.85 times into about minus 3 meters squared. And if we put these numbers in, that's the uh, relative perimeter of free space. distance between the plates. This gives us a capacitance of 5.8 times into power minus 10 farads. The capacitor is charged fully by connecting a 12 volt cell. Then a dielectric is inserted between the plates with a relative permittivity of 6.50. Calculate the increase in charge due to the dielectric. So it's the same question as uh, before part two. So we're going to work out the, uh, the charge without the dielectric. So we can use the capacitance times the voltage. So from the earlier part of the question, we have capacitance of 5.8 times 10 to the power of minus 10 and multiply by the voltage. That gives us the charge stored as 6.95 times 10 to the power of minus 9 coulombs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work uh, with the dielectric. So we can use a equation ER equals Q over Q naught. So ER times Q naught equals Q. Basically, that means you multiply the charge by 6.5. Now, this gives us a Q of 4.5 times 10 to the power of minus 8 coulombs. But the question is asking for the increase in charge. So we need to find the difference between the Q and Q naught which gives us 3.8 times into the power minus 8 coulombs, um, which is increased by. The capacitor is charged, then power supply is disconnected such that there is no electrical contact between the plates. So if there's no electrical contact between the plates, that means Q is constant, is fixed, because no charge can flow, so they're all stuck on the plate. The distance between the plates is doubled. So what we've done is we've taken the distance and it times that by two. What effect does this have on the following? Well, charge, we said no change because it's stuck. Capacitance, well, we can use the equation C equals epsilon naught epsilon r a over d. Well, we're going to assume that the area of the plate hasn't changed and neither has a dielectric that we're using. So none of those has changed. So it's inversely proportional 
um, to capacitance. So if we times the distance by two, the capacitance will half. The voltage, so we can use the equation Q equals CV. So I'm going to rearrange for V. So get Q over C. So it's, again, this is inverse proportional. So we can see from the previous part, capacitance is going to be half. So the voltage will be actually be two times bigger because of the inverse relationship. What about the electric field strength between the plates? So electric field strength between the plates can be given as V over D, the potential difference by the distance. We can see from the question part C that the vo uh, voltage is going to be times two. And the question is telling us that the distance is going to be times two as well. So the two distances, two times two will cancel out, giving the same electric field strength. So the electric field strength has no change. The energy stored on the plates. So we can use any equation for energy stored in a capacitor. I'm going to use half QV. Now Q is con uh, constant, so it's fixed. So it's a half is a constant. So what happens to energy? So voltage, we can see, has times 2. So the energy is also times 2. So please don't get mixed up between the two E's. They're same. Um, one is electric field strength, and the other is energy stored. So that's obviously very confusing. So the energy is increased by times. So the question is, where has that energy come from? So because the parallel plates are oppositely discharged and you're pulling them apart, the person who was pulling them apart did some work against electrostatic attraction. So force time, they had to uh, apply to pull them apart times the distance they move the plates will, give, will be the work done that stored as electrical potential energy.